Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Firewood at the Furnace. As you saw there, it is a sunny day here in Maryland, and we've had about four or five days of sunshine uh, in the past week or so. So the big question, I'm sure, if, you've, if you're following along, is how is the mud situation making out in the yard? We'll talk about that a little bit today, uh, but there is some rain scheduled to come in tomorrow. Uh, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but enough to make things wet again. So there's still a couple cord of firewood here that is already uh, scheduled for delivery to the farm. Uh, he's ready for that now, and we're going to get that to him today before the yard gets super wet again. So after we get done those deliveries, I want to do some repairs on some pallets, and I've got a new way I'm going to try to put the dividers up on these pallets just to see if it works. Uh, I haven't seen anybody else try this before, but I think it might work, but we'll find out. And uh, just a little bit more clean up here in the yard because in the next 10 days, the forecast is showing another deep freeze, really cold weather coming down into Maryland and the ground is going to be frozen. So all this wood that is pushed down in the mud is going to be locked in. So I want to try to get the stuff that's laying on the ground in the mud cleaned up, up off the ground, and prepare for the freeze the best way I can. So we're going to cover all that today. Stick around. So I guess we'll cover the condition of the yard here first before we get moving today. Like I said, we've had about four or five days of 50 degree sunny weather. So things have started to dry out a little bit. Uh, but as you know, the mud was very, very deep. So this part of the yard here is workable now. Uh, the top part of the yard here is becoming workable. You can see where I've back drugged that a few times. But this low area where our, the deepest part of the mud was is still soft. I wouldn't call it sloppy, but it's still soft. A lot of moisture still in the dirt there. So what I've been doing is coming over here each day and just kind of back dragging stuff, turning stuff over so that the, the dirt can get kind of tilled up. And as the sun shines on it, hopefully dry it out a little bit quicker. But this part right here, I'm able to drive on. It's not soft, it's not sinking. So you see the dump trailers hooked up to the truck right over here. The plan is to back the trailer over here to get these two cord of wood loaded up that are waiting to go. Uh, both of these stacks of ash are heading out. There's two stacks of oak here that are heading out. Uh, there's a little bit of oak there. And then down here, there is some, um, looks like maple and mulberry. So that'll be the two cord that are heading out today. Probably do it in two loads. Probably put a cord on each load and get that delivered. Sounds like the dogs next door are having a little quarrel this morning. They play a lot, but uh, they're not mean at all. They're super nice dogs. See a Weimaraner and a German Shepherd. They're both about the same age. He wants to play. The Shepherd wants to play. The Weimaraner's not having it. All right, let's get the trailer in position and we'll get going. So some of you might be wondering how I still have firewood to deliver. Well, this is the eight cord delivery going to the farm. And he's just been taking a little bit at a time. You know, I delivered that 10 cord to him over the last summer, the green wood. And then he ordered eight cord of seasoned wood as well. So that. Looks like that pallet is ready to be retired. I just fell through it. So this will be the last two cord of season wood going to him. And I guess I won't be delivering any more season wood to this customer because he's going to be getting green wood every year from here on out. So 
Still no word from the new owner of the Ultra that's sitting in my garage waiting for him to pick up. He said it would be a couple weeks after the fellowship that he was going to be traveling here to pick it up, but I sent a message to him the other day and haven't heard anything back. So the Ultra is still sitting there in the garage waiting to be picked up. Still got a little bit of wood here in the yard to split. That's uh, down in between the rows, not staged next to my machine. We're gonna get that split up. Jack's 916 is still here in the yard. He's been coming over a little bit in the evenings and still pecking away at the pile next to his machine. I told him, I said, uh, you don't have to come over here and do this. And he said, he enjoys it. His yard's pretty muddy too. And while his machine was sitting there, he said he was just gonna knock out the rest of what's there. So he's been over here splitting a couple days when I've been trying to square this yard away and dragging mud around. Valerie's supposed to be over here in a few minutes too. She's gonna to help out with loading this wood today, making these deliveries. So until she gets here, I'll speed you up. I'll have a little chat with her about the yard when she gets here. And finish loading. All right, as promised, Valerie has arrived to the yard. Now, a lot of you haven't seen Val in a while. And those of you who came to the fellowship that maybe wanted to see Val and the kids, you only got to see Brady because her and Taylor were in Arizona for softball. But they're back. She's back helping in the yard. I'm gonna finish loading this wood. And since she wasn't here for the fellowship, what do you think about the way the condition of the yard is? It's, uh, it's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> it was a it was a mess. Yeah, it was a mess. But and a lot was done. A lot was done and everybody had a good time. So Val is back in the yard with us. I just wanted to take a moment and let her say hello again to everybody. Uh, we'll get another third of a cord loaded on this trailer, take it to the farm and dump it, come back and get another full cord, and then we can move on to the next thing for the day. a little bit over a cord in the trailer we went ahead and put a little bit extra on because we're gonna put a little bit of extra on the next load as well uh, just to be sure he gets all of his wood probably just give him everything that's left here this season I think it's probably about two and a third cord maybe a little over two and a third of a cord we'll just take it all to him because that's the last delivery of the season and nothing else is available so we're gonna hop in the truck, go dump this off, and then we'll be back.
Well, we're back. Val's already started loading the second load. She's gonna load the rest of that oak. This oak, there's a little bit of ash laying here. We're going to put on these two stacks down here. There's a little bit of wood laying on this end and also a little bit of wood laying here. So we only need to deliver a little less than a cord, but we're gonna put a little more than a cord on this load as well. To be sure he gets everything he's paying for, I'll speed you up, we'll get this on, back on the road. And that's the last of it. We got that little bit of ash that was down here and that little bit that was left over here. Threw it on and it's a good, healthy one cord plus on the trailer. So that's the end of all the seasoned wood that was waiting to be delivered here in the yard. Everything else that's here will be for next year. All right, we are back. The delivery is done. And I told you in the beginning that we we're gonna work on some of these dilapidated pallet rows. This was the original row when this whole thing started several years ago, three or four years ago now. So a lot of these pallets, you saw me fall through one earlier. A lot of them are broken up. The dividers are falling down. You can see as we go, almost every single one of them have started to break. Uh, when Val was loading up with me, loading the trailer up earlier, she fell through a couple times and she said, you got to do something about this. And I said, well, it's funny you said that because that's exactly what I'm going to be working on when we get done with these deliveries today. I think those are the ones she fell through right over there. This one's all routed out as well. Uh, dividers are falling down and one of the problems that I've been having with the dividers is I've used to use the pallet slats you know I would just bust a pallet slat off and nail it to the divider support to hold it up but what happens is this the divider normally or the pallet slat normally splits gets a little bit of weight on it and it just busts through and breaks out and doesn't work for very long Normally it holds while the wood's on it, but as soon as you start taking the wood off and it gets empty, they fall over. So, I've got plenty of pallets down here. You see down here in the bottom of the yard, I've been getting a stockpile of pallets from my good buddy Joe, the mini excavator operator. So I hauled in a bunch more pallets the other day so replacing the broken pallets isn't a problem. But what I've also got is all these IBC tote bladders that I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with. If there's anybody that might have a use for those, let me know. Maybe I can market them around here, give them away to somebody that might have a use for them. 
But back to the supports for the pallet dividers. All of these IBC totes, before you take the bladders out, have these metal braces in them. You remove these two braces and then the bladder slides out. So what you're left with are these. And I've got a whole bunch of these laying in a pile. And I think what I'm gonna do is, just gonna take a hammer and, fl and flatten these out and screw these right to the pallets on the angle to use as the support brace for the pallet dividers. I think it'll work and it'll give me a way to repurpose these pieces of metal that I'm taking off these IBC totes. So that's what we're gonna try right now. So here's the pile of these braces that I have right now. This hammer's probably a little overkill, but it's what I got available close by. So we'll just flatten these out. And then they should be able to go from one pallet to the other. And I don't have to worry about these breaking out. They should last longer than the pallet. So let me rip through these real quick, get a few of these done. We'll get the screw gun out and put them on and see how it works. Right there is where we land and what I'm doing now is I'm trying to use the pallets that have the 2x4 face on the end. Before I had them stacked like this and then I was trying to screw my support into the end grain of one of these uh, pieces in the middle of the pallet and that ends up splitting and pulling out as well. So if I do it this way it might not be four foot tall but I can obviously stack a little above the pallet to get that four foot and have a better purchase point for the screws to attach to on this end. So let's try that out. I'm using two inch drywall screws because that's what I have. Um, the head of the screw is not going through the hole in the support bracket, so that's good. I was worried I might have to use some small washers or something if the head wasn't uh, big enough to catch, but it is, and that looks like it might work. So let's try the other side here and see what we end up with. Maybe I'll go the opposite way on this one. pretty good I think that'll work so that's the new plan until I run out of those pieces so I went ahead and did a few more of these dividers and I think it's gonna work good replacing pallets had to be done anyway 
all these old junky pallets I'll probably just burn or crush up and get rid of. But after I did a few of those, I decided with the sun shining today and this beautiful weather we're having, I could make better use of my time by cleaning up some of the stuff here in the yard. So I turned this dirt over again one more time. You can see it's starting to dry really quick on top, still wet down in here. But every time I turn it over, uh, hopefully I'm speeding up the drying process. But our good friend Jack from Log Cabin Firewood arrived here in the yard today again. And he's been helping me clean up these rows. Uh, cleaned up a lot of the trash that was in this row. And he is over here. I can't get him to stop working. Hey guys. He's over here raking up this other row. But this weather is absolutely gorgeous. And if I could just get four or five more days in a row of this kind of weather, I would be in really good shape here in the yard because things are improving daily but there is rain coming in the next couple days and I hope it's just a little bit. But that's going to be it for today. Hope you all enjoyed watching the last delivery of the year and hopefully my new improvement on the pallet dividers is going to work out better and progress is being made here in the yard. So until next Wednesday Hopefully this will look even better next Wednesday when you check in. As soon as this dries out, I'm getting more wood chips and putting on top of it. At least it'll make it look better. And help it dry a little more too. But I hope you all have a great week, and we'll see you next Wednesday.